Welcome to One Book, One Review. Hey everybody, today I want to tell you about The Sense of an Ending by Julian Barnes. This book is separated in two parts. In the first part, Tony Webster, the narrator, tells us a story of his life. He concentrates on his school days, the friends he has there, then on college and his first girlfriend, and then the rest of his life. In the second part, he is confronted with parts of that life in, that he remembers, and he has to reevaluate the memories he has. I really like reading this book for various reasons. One reason is the writing. The narration just flows. The writing is so natural and easy. You really have the feeling the narrator is there telling the story to you. I really like the way how he mentions something and then dismisses it with the words that's not part of the story. It's just like he's sitting there talking to you. I really like that. And also another part that I really liked about this book is history and the representation of it. I'm always quite intrigued with the question of is history really true? And Tony and his friends in school, they discussed this with their history teacher and they had different ideas about what history is and what the representation of it is. And the history teacher of course had a different idea or theory. And I'm always intrigued by this discussion about that, whether the documentation of history is actually the documentation of what really happened. And in the second part of this novel, Tony is confronted with this, not with history in general, but with his personal history. He has a story of his life that he keeps telling himself, the first part of the book. And in the second part, something happens and he has to look back at the past and he has to think about things again and new memories pop up and things that he interpreted differently maybe, or things he said he completely forgot. And all these things he has to think about, he keeps re-evaluating if the memory he has of his life is actually what happened, if it's accurate of the situation or the people he remembers. And this is really interesting and I'm always intrigued by this. And I just recently saw a talk, a TED talk about this topic, I'll leave a footnote for that. And it's really fascinating about the experiencing self and the remembering self and how these things are not really the same. So what we remember is not exactly what happened. And I really am always fascinated by this. So if you're also fascinated by this difference of what actually happened and the documentation of something, you might really be interested in this book. This book is adult fiction. It's not written difficult, but it's talking about a retired person remembering his past. So it might not be that interesting for you if you're just in your 20s or a teenager. And yeah, maybe it's more interesting from the story for people who are my age or older, but the writing is just awesome. So I would just recommend it if you really like to read adult fiction. Thank you for watching and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.